Hey everyone, it's Audrey Broom from Audrey Lynn Studios on the west side of Canada, coming to you with a um, half a kiln opening. <laughs> okay, I was all dolled up this morning and um, did my whole kiln opening and I don't know what happened, but my intro and the first part of my kiln opening is not on the phone. Anyways, so since then I've been on the motorbike and yes, helmet hair. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope that as this video goes through that you'll deduce what came out of the kiln. I have photos on the end so some of the things you don't see coming out of the kiln will be at the end on a photo. So, <laughs> hey, sometimes it happens. So, enjoy. <laughs> Which is kind of too bad because I'm just finishing up the tutorial um, of how to make this bowl. But you know what? I'm going to publish it anyway. This stuff happens and, um, and I want to get that tutorial out to you. Um, and it's not terrible, but I probably will refire. Um, I'm just not sure what I'll refire with. I mean, look at the iron luster. That turned out really well. I love that. So I'm just not quite sure what I'm going to do, but I, I, I'm putting out that tutorial so you can learn how to make this bowl. All right, because I love the bowl. I make these a lot and they always sell. Always. All righty, I need my notes. I need my notes. So let's see here. No, these are all the ones I want to do. And this is what we're going to show. So, okay. So this is the tapenade. Three times on white stoneware. And if I think of tapenade, this one must be green and black olive tapenade <laughs> with the floating blue on top. Yeah, for certain things that's nice. I can see that more, oh, I'm shaking again. See that more in the uh, fall. I like it. All right, and this next one is really pretty. So this is floating turquoise and this one is Louisiana Bayou. Very lovely. I am happy with those two glazes and this is the floating turquoise on the white liner that I have in my studio. Very nice. I like that. I figured I would be happy because um, I'm super happy with the other spectrums. All right, and this one is the mug. And let's see. I might have to just pause you while I do some deducing. Okay. I'm really sorry, this is going to be like a disjointed video, like the, you know, shoot to the next, oh my goodness, it took me five minutes just to figure out what I did here. Anyway, which, why? I've got it all written down. Anyway, okay, this one. Now these are all three coats on 370 stoneware white, okay? So this is Fuzzy Peach. Sunrise and Spanish moss. All right, that's what we've got there. Beautiful. They all look beautiful. Very nice. All right, and then this one is 
tiger's eye. Bougainvillea. And morning glory. Okay, there you go. And morning. Yeah, again, they look beautiful. And then the last one is ginger. shallot, and papaya. Okay, so let me see if I can do this. And yeah, there you go. So that's nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the tapenade was 11. And this was, I mean, 10. And this is 11 and 12. And that's what's in the sample pack that I got. All of those. And I'll take some photos at the end so you can have a really good look at them. So um, I am happy with those. Real happy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there you have it. I am really happy with those spectrums, the new spectrums. Um, really looking forward to playing around with those. Um, I like how my bowl turned out, so stay tuned because it's, it's, I got the video to, um, filmed. It's just got to be edited and I'm just going to go ahead with it. But yeah, like these, especially done in 370 with that, Two honey flux and one river birch and iron luster sells all the time. And I am really happy that these healed up because they got a lot of good reactions. So anyway, there you go. Um, so if you got anything out of this video, please like and subscribe and hit the little ringy dingy bell. I'd really appreciate that. And um, now I, well, I'm home for a little while, but we're going on a motorbike trip and that will be a good, a good week. So um, we'll be leaving on the 23rd and this is uh, the 6th, 7th. I don't know where we are anyway. So yeah, here I am again. So in the video, my intro that didn't make it because it got lost somewhere in cyberspace. Um, I had thanked Tammy Sagerbrook, and I don't know if I'm saying your last name right, Tammy, but thanks so much for the super thanks. That uh, cash will go right into my Advancer Shelf Fund, and I truly appreciate it. So thanks, Tammy. Anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching. As always, thank you to all my subscribers. I truly appreciate you following me and hope that you get something out of my videos and by all means leave your comments I try to get to everyone and um, let me know if there's anything you would like to see me do in as we have a tutorial or I did somebody ask um, she asked for um, the little fishy dish and I'm just about done that one but I'd like to get it all glazed up so that I have something to show you in that tutorial so, see you later. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I know what happened here. This is Laguna Calico. It's very coarse clay, like real coarse clay. And um, I was making this bowl because I just wanted to get rid of this clay. And so, of course, when I glaze it. I forgot what clay I used. Anyway, that's why the honey flux and river birch didn't show up so well because on the Plainsman 340S it works just fine. But not on this calico. And so there we have it. Mystery solved. <laughs>